Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Yoya Fabulosa and in today's video we're going to be talking about styling your breastplate. Now before we get started, I'd like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Dossier. Now Dossier is a fragrance company that recreates luxury brand fragrances at a fraction of the cost. In my hand here, I have Floral Jasmine, which is one of my favorite scents. I love the smell of Jasmine, and they've added some floral hints to it, which is really nice. And what's really cool is that this is based off of Tom Ford's Jasmine Rogue. Now that Tom Ford fragrance is almost $300, whereas this Floral Jasmine in my hand here only costs $39. What a deal. Now I'm going to put this on. Mm. Smells divine. Now, if you're looking for a luxury fragrance and you're not in the mood to break the bank, look no further than Dossier. You can check out the link in the description box below so you can see their huge selection of fragrances. And they were kind enough to provide me with a promo code for you to get a discount on your next order. So what are you waiting for? Check them out. Thank you so much, Dossier, for sponsoring this video. Now, let's jump right into it. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing a breastplate now, and I think it does a fantastic job of filling out the dress. Now, for reference, I'll show you this outfit with the breastplate and without. And this is the dress without the breastplate. Now, I am wearing a strapless bra underneath here with some inserts to still fill it out, but I don't know. It still feels like it's missing something. What could that be? Now, in your opinion, do you prefer the look with or without the breastplate? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, the first thing you want to consider when wearing your breastplate is that it matches your skin tone. As you can see with the breastplate I'm wearing now, it comes pretty close to matching my skin tone, right? It could probably use a little bit more warmth, but for the most part, it does a pretty good job of blending in. I think that this breastplate works for me. So when buying a breastplate or wearing one, just make sure it comes very close to your natural skin tone. If it doesn't, what you can do is you can put a little bit of makeup on the breastplate to match your skin tone or, you know, add some bronzer or some highlight and try to get your natural skin tone to be a little bit similar to the breastplate. That might be a little bit more difficult though if you're wearing something that shows off your arms because then, you know, you're going to be a little bit mismatched. So be careful. The best thing to do is to just get a breastplate that matches your skin tone. Now the next thing to take into consideration wearing a breastplate is how you're going to cover up those edges. As you can see here near my shoulders, there's this edge that's kind of blending into my skin tone, but it's pretty obvious, don't you think? And what you also don't see is the collar of this breastplate because of this necklace that I'm wearing, because I'm wearing this specifically to cover it up. But let me show you what this looks like without the necklace. As you can see, this collar here, it's very, very apparent. It's kind of stark, right? And so you have to be aware of how you're going to cover this up when wearing a breastplate. Now for me, I choose to do that by wearing this gigantic necklace here. But there's some other things you can do to cover this kind of collar. I'm not sure if you would call this collar. I just keep saying a collar because it, it really does come on like a shirt. And so, you know, how are you going to cover this up, right? You can again use a necklace like this, or you can use a scarf. Now, you can just put the scarf over your shoulders and then just kind of flick it over and that's one way to do it. And as you can see, the collar is covered up. It's one of these edges over here. But you know what isn't covered up is the back. Now this manufacturer put these cutouts here in the back of the breastplate to add a little bit more breathability because when you're wearing silicone breastplates, it can get very, very hot underneath. But this isn't the most attractive look, is it? If you were to see me out in public walking around, you'd think, wow, she's stunning from the front, right? But then when I turn around, you're like, what's going on back there? So how do we cover that up? Well, you can still use the scarf. So I can just have this cover the back. And those edges in the shoulder area. But then you're seeing I'm exposed here at the collar area, so that's when the necklace comes in handy. You can throw this necklace right back on. 
Uh, so now I have the necklace on, it's covering that collar area, and the scarf is doing a really good job of covering those edges on the side, as well as the back. So a scarf really goes a long way when wearing a breastplate. As do these necklaces. Now let's say you don't want to wear a scarf or you don't have a scarf that matches your outfit, then you can also just throw on a light jacket. So I have this here, this like orange sherbet jacket, and just toss this on. And this is a good way to cover those edges and the back. So those are just a few things to consider when wearing a breastplate. Now I'm sure some of you don't really care about those edges showing. I personally think that this looks fantastic without the scarf and without the jacket. I don't mind the edges here too much because it does blend in really well with my skin tone. The back I definitely don't care for. This does not look good to me. However, for the purpose of this video, you're not really seeing the back, are you? You're mostly seeing the front. Now as for that collar area, I definitely don't want anyone to see that. So whenever I wear a breastplate, I try to throw on a necklace such as this or a scarf to cover that up because I don't want anyone to see that. It's just so jarring in my opinion. <laughs> all right, now that's it for today's video. I hope you all found this content helpful. If you'd like to see me do more of this, let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I'm your Pulosa. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.